opinions and stories around the game we love told by your favorite storytellers. Stay up to date with all things cricket. Subscribe to Crick Buzz's YouTube channel and press that bell icon now. In terms of squad rotation, the Adelaide Test next week, England specifically, let's assume Burns gets a, a leave pass for next week. They're not going to make a change at the top of the list. But Anderson and Broad, uh, well, they're both said publicly they're going to play. Uh, now, if they both do play, let's assume they do. Um, how do you play that? I mean, Robinson was exceptional. Uh, Mark Wood offered something different with his raw pace. Jack Leach was taken to the cleaners. Might it be the case they'll go with four seamers, the two experienced men of Anderson and Broad, complemented by Wood and Robinson, something like that? It's going to be very interesting to see how England go about uh, their next squad. I, I don't think they'll be jumping to any conclusions just yet. They'll want to get to Adelaide, assess the conditions, and, and try and see what the best combination is going to be for those conditions. You know, that, that they've, they've said all the way through that they're going to um, they're going to have to they're going to have managed bowlers they're going to try and pick the best bowlers for the conditions so Adelaide in the past few years in day night test matches has been one of the fastest and bounciest pitches uh, in the country and uh, the seamers have done pretty well so um, having said that Nathan Lyons actually done pretty well in Adelaide as well so yep. there, there, there'll be a lot of discussion over Jack Leach's position in the team I think you know the, the tactics from the Australians were very very clear to go hard and hit Jack Leach out of the attack and I don't know if uh, that, that'll scare England selectors and sort of make them or think about making a change there. I, I think they'll have to consider that because um, unfortunately for Jack Leach, he didn't have any impact on this first test match. Uh, generally speaking, it, you know, Adelaide under lights is more favourable for the faster bowlers. So I, I think they'll, they'll, they'll seriously consider uh, one change there, um, you know, from that spin bowling department. Um, where, the other one, uh, yeah, I don't know. If, if Anderson and Broad both come into the team, it's going to be very interesting to see who they leave out. They'll, they'll probably just have to see how all the bowlers pull up. You know, I, I had a quick chat to Mark Wood before play today, and uh, he said oh, all the bowlers are really stiff and sore. <laughs> They've had to work extremely hard during this test match. It's not easy. Hot conditions in Brisbane. You know, they're going to have to recover quickly. There might be a niggle or two there, but I think England, they'll be a better team for that second, uh, that second Ashes test match in Adelaide by having, you know, the, the likes of Stuart Broad and Jimmy Anderson in their team. So... I guess we'll just have to wait and see when we get closer to, but I think it's exciting uh, for England to have those two big guns back into the team. Yes, all ahead of us next week at the beautiful Adelaide Oval, day-night test match, Ashes test match, the Australian squad uh, will be fairly clear. I'm sure they'll be uh, unchanged if they can be. If David Warner forces a change, they've got a ready-made opener in Usman Khawaja, but I can't fathom why they would change the, the three quicks at this stage. Maybe they could consider uh, rotating Jai Richardson or Michael Nisa. Michael Nisa, Took five wickets for Australia A against the Lions yesterday, and Richardson was the formal 12th man this week. But uh, I suspect they'll, uh, to use an expression, dance with the one that brung them uh, and go with the bowlers who have been so dependable for them in recent years.